Hello everyone, time to grind here, and today we are back with some more crab champions. Uh, and uh, this time we're gonna do sh dual shotguns, right? Uh, some of these vanilla weapons we haven't done in a long time, and uh, it's kind of kind of fun mixing it up. And dual shotguns have always been one of the weapons that we've kind of struggled a little bit. If I remember correctly, it was one of the weapons uh, that uh, took us uh, longer to get diamond here. So we're gonna see if uh, if we can do it here. Um, just kind of mixing up. Uh, we're gonna mix it up even. Even more uh, with the uh, uh, grappling hook. We don't use it very often, but it could be pretty good with the grenade launchers. And we're going to start with firework shot, um, which is uh, pretty cool. Obviously, staying as the uh, hammer. Oh, oh, oh! I forgot. I forgot. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta turn it on uh, nightmare here uh, because uh, I was trying to make a thumbnail for the last video. The last video we did was the um, like doing all, as many greed perks as we could, um, and. Uh, Dude, I, I struggled so hard on that thumbnail because like you guys know, I, I have been trying really, really hard to uh, like level up my content or whatever, right? Been working really hard making the thumbnails look nice and stuff like that. And uh, so I, I was trying to get a good screenshot of greed chests and greed totems and stuff. Oh, Lord. Uh, and stuff like that. And I even played a 20 minute run of normal going as fast as I could, beat the game. I didn't see a single, like I was trying to do it so I could screenshot. I didn't get a single greed chest or greed toad on that entire run. Um, also, sure, sniper turrets at the start of each island. We haven't done a turret build in a while, but uh, you know, I'm uh, I'm interested. I'm interested for sure. Also, everybody else here popping in. Oh Lord. Um, welcome, welcome everybody here. Welcome, welcome. Oh geez here, okay. Okay. Oh, <laughs> I just, I don't know. Dual, dual shotguns. We've always kind of struggled. Now, I don't know. Century gun feels like it kind of fits with this build. Um, but, uh, yeah, but welcome captain, uh, Yidikis, bread, the gambler, both of y'all's usernames. Dope. Um, glue grenade. Okay. Sharp shot. I don't know. I don't know if it would be good on this, but I'll take sharp shot just cause normally it's really good early on. If you get any damage scaling. Uh, damage increase to nearby enemies. I don't know if I want to do an elite already, to be honest. I don't know if I want to do an elite. Um, kind of taking a lot of damage. But you know what? That's all good. That is all good. Is this going to be a video on his YouTube? Hell yeah, it is. Pretty much like 99.9% .9 of the content we do. Well, no, I mean all the segments in between... Right, kitty cams, stuff like that. Um, sometimes doesn't make it to the YouTube videos, but um, okay, we'll take driller. Yeah, we'll take driller uh, for desert uh, rig totems. I'll take. I don't know. I could do crit. I'm gonna do random though, because to be honest, I'm not opposed trying to do a uh, a turret build. Definitely not opposed to that. Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Oh, you've been uh, 3D printing the uh, Monstera leaves. I th I saw you uh, talking about it in our Discord. Yeah. Oh, shout out for our uh, Discord. Oh jeez! Get out of here, dude. Uh, speaking of which, uh, Noise Storm is starting to ramp up the sneak peeks that he's giving um, on uh, on Twitter, and uh, I have seen. Some shit that is gonna make me very excited, or is making me very excited for the new update. Um, King Crystal's one healing. I don't know. I don't really have any crystal stuff. Um, but yeah, one of the uh, main things uh, that I'm pretty hyped about here uh, is um, they are fine. Or not they. Noise Storm is finally. Uh, <laughs> Doing what I have been hoping is going to be done for a very long time, and that is changing this dang hammer. So that the they the, uh, he's posted some screenshots of what the new hammer looks like. It's got so much weight; it actually looks like it slams down on the ground. Uh, and I am so freaking hyped for that. Uh, he's also shown there's a new boss, like a hammer crab boss, um, and that is uh, that's crazy. Uh, also, just all the music and stuff. So I don't know. We're if I had to guess, I literally have no clue. Um, ooh, max health increased after every close range elimination. Pretty good with the shotguns. Um, I, I think we're probably like a month, month and a half, maybe to a new update. Hopefully sooner. Uh, but yeah, you should do a run where you pick the random portal if one appears. 
Oh, just do as much random. I mean, honestly, we pick random a lot to be in general. Just got here, want to say I love this game. What a controversial take. What a controversial take. <laughs> uh, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Okay, I'm going to gain so much max HP here. Having dual shotties with the... Oh, my God, dude. I just... I'm not used to the grappling hook, to be honest. Dude, look at all the max HP we're already gaining. Um... Bam! Dude, this is nice. This is also going to be worth quite a lot of money here. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Does it still sling you upwards first? If I'm not able to fly anymore, I'll be very sad. To be honest, I don't remember. I retweeted it. I retweeted it, but to be honest, I don't, I don't remember that. I think I would assume it does. That would make it a lot worse for no reason, in my opinion, if it didn't. Uh, we did take some damage there, but we gained a lot of HP, so I think we'll be okay. I do kind of... I don't know. I don't, I don't know how I would want the grappling hook to change, to be honest. I just wish, like, for some reason it wasn't a melee. I don't know. Um, driller, auto loads. Okay, scatter shot. Okay, we can do scatter shot. Oh, okay, and us taking damage is totally fine. Um, okay, lose some health, sure. Heal when increasing your combo. Okay, we also gained money when we heal. As we healed, we just gained uh, money there. Uh, firework shot can be enhanced. Cost 1,400 crystals each. Um, okay, yeah, we'll do that. Uh, firework shot has homing! Firework has scattering! Yo, that's pretty good. That is, uh, that is pretty good. And then... Reset all cooldowns. That's pretty good. Yeah, we'll take that ring. Okay. That was a very good shot phase. And we got our glass totem here. Oh. So, I'm hoping the firework stuff kind of carries us. Oh, man. I'm trying to use the grappling hook. Do you guys remember before the, the melee update where there's, or before the grenade update or variety update, I think it was called? Man, we were so hyped for the uh, grappling hook. I, I was like swearing, right, that I was going to pretty much only use the grappling hook. Obviously, that did not end up happening. Uh, but I don't know. It's, it's fun trying it out every now and then here. Uh, damage increased to nearby enemies. Love that. Uh, there's a healing chest over here we can get it as well. Woo! I feel like the grappling hook should be a random perk you pick, which changes the dash to a grappling hook. Yeah, I think something that could add a lot more depth to the game is if there was one ability slot, right? We have, we have G for the grenade. We have F for the melee. I almost kind of wish that there was, you like, I don't know, this is way down the line, but maybe abilities on Q and E, you know? I mean, or if you... I don't know, use different keybinds, you know, but... Uh, aura grenade, arc shot... Ooh, wait. Arc shot... On the grenades seems kind of interesting. Ho! Oh! Uh, and a heart. Because from what I... Have been told and remember... I'm pretty sure... Those are always worth... Not always worth it, but like, they're never bad, right? Remember previously there were some times that if you took certain designs that actually like on certain things that shot multiple bullets inherently like that could have actually made our weapon worse uh, i don't believe it works like that i don't think it's worked like that for a while so obviously when the arc shot triggers we have way more bullets it makes each individual bullet do the arc i think uh and uh yeah it's uh, it's really really cool here really 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 cool Sunday Sigils, Biffle, and Gary did a run competition to see if you get the furthest on this oh yeah yeah i i think i don't remember correctly um i can't remember if I got them on Cra Crab Champions. I mean, maybe they would have played it either way, but for some reason I remember pitching that to him because I I do I haven't honestly talked to Sunday in two months. I actually he reached out about a question about um, uh, some roguelikes, and so um, I've just been so busy. It's been really hard for me to uh, more damage when aiming. Nope. Um, we'll do big shot. It's been so hard to. Um, I, I honestly feel like I've been running a million miles an hour the last like couple months. Um, well, that's the grind. That's the grind um, of uh, trying to make it as a content creator, I suppose. <laughs> While also, you know, just doing the contracting work. A big part of it is is the studio, right? Like, I'm constantly improving the studio, um, and I'm super proud of it. Um, I'm super proud of it. But it's like, 
I'm just constantly improving it, and so it's like I'm spending like 30, 45 minutes before each stream trying to make things better. That takes things like I don't think I I've been eating dinner at like one in the morning. I have been I have been eating dinner at one in the morning and staying up until four and just running a million miles an hour. So I don't know where I was going with that. Oh yeah. So I, I hadn't I hadn't really talked with Sunday and all of them in a while, but I just just recently started. I, I told them about Rollscape. Um, I don't know if he's gonna make a video on it, but I definitely he told me he is he he loves Rollscape. Um, okay. Let's go grab whatever is over here. You check out the new Friends vs. Friends anniversary update. We're doing that next week. I saw it though. I'm super hyped about it. I'm super hyped. Small crystals. Um yeah, like, and the biggest thing, too, with this studio is I just need, like, a couple more cameras. I need, like, two or three more cameras um, so we can actually start doing the podcast again um, and uh, gain more max health from hearts and max HP increase with close range. And we'll do another health here. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm so excited for... Uh, because I know we've been growing the channel a lot. I know there's probably a lot of people that have no clue what the Neon Apes is. I mean, I've shielded a lot. We've we've made two awesome sketches. So if you guys haven't seen those, I definitely think we're going to start making like sketches along with the podcast once it starts back up. But that's a thing I'm super excited for about as well. Uh, for, uh, for sure here. For sure. Also, someone tried to get me to stretch 17 minutes ago and I totally missed it. So let me uh, let me do some let me do some stretches. Do you think there should be new weapons that buff melee weapons? I think there just needs more ability love on the weapons, right? Same thing with grenades. There's so many abilities based on uh, guns. I, I I think it would be really good if we got some extra, um, you know, some extra goodies. I think that would help a lot in, in general, you know? Um... I'll take a heart. I don't know. Okay. I definitely think our health is fine. We're already at almost a thousand. We're gaining so much more because of the HP on people that we kill uh, next to me. Normally, that's not my favorite, but we're literally, we have a dual shotgun build and a grappling hook. So, you know, allegedly, this is a, uh, this is a good build here. I'd be a crab with a gun when you, you can be a crab with a cannon <laughs> or lasers. I kind of hope Noise Storm gives us some perks that give us shields or shield health. Well, yeah, shield health is based on your overall health. Now, I don't know if that's something that needs to change. I think it makes sense. But I don't know. I could see, like, different types of armor or something like that, you know? I uh, could be very, very interested. Um, high caliber shots do more damage, but clip size is reduced. Uh, more damage moving random patterns. I mean, they shoot so fast. I don't think it matters. And honestly, I don't really care about elemental this build. Um, maybe that's a mistake. Sometimes I always say that and then I struggle against elites, but I don't know. Just going big, big damage. But I also wasn't wanting to go crit either. So, oh, grappling hook. I'm not used to having grappling hook. I'm not used to having grappling hook. Um, but I don't know. I don't know what this build is. We just have a shotgun right now. It's good enough for me. Good enough for me. At least for now. <laughs> it's it's working out though. I think I think having a bunch of health is really helping out. And we do need more economy. We are healing a little bit, or yeah, we, we gain money as we heal, but that's obviously not a ton of, uh, that's not a ton of healing. So, uh, yeah. You interested in friends versus friend tourneys? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, I mean, I'm like, that's probably pretty cool. Um, okay. More damage that they move in zigzags. Um, critical chest. Okay. Okay. If I'm going raw damage, I shouldn't ignore crit, I think. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I kind of like friends versus friends as like a very casual thing. I mean, I'm climbing the ranks by playing slowly over the last year. Um, but uh, I think to be honest, I would be more intrigued by like some sort of like creator event or something. If they ever hosted something like that or someone hosted something. Um, 
Because, uh, I don't know, tournaments are cool. Tournaments are cool for sure. Like, I'm going to DreamHack Dallas this weekend, like I said. I'm going to, uh, I think, enter in a couple tournaments. One of them's gonna be a, a Marvel Snap tournament. Just because it's fun. Right? But, uh, man. With me running, running a million miles an hour, doing a million different things. I don't, I don't know if I could, like, train for a friends versus friends tournament. Um... But, uh, yeah. I think I tried to get Sunday to play uh, Friends vs. Friends a while ago. I I, I don't think... Um, okay, we'll do crit chance. Uh, back then, it was it was really hard to get cards, to be honest. It, the, the game was a lot grindier in Friends vs. Friends than it is now. Um, so I think him not being able to create whatever deck he wanted for the video... Uh, uh, you know. I think took his interest away. Um, okay. Firework shot has spiraling. Max health. Uh, I don't need more max health. I don't need more max health. I need like economy. Okay, I'll do one more flat damage. And I'll do a. Oh, never mind. I'll just hold on to this here. I'll try to do this here. Maybe you need to be improving the studio less often, give fewer opportunities to give feedback and clear your plate up a bit. I mean, the thing is, is like we're at the beginning, right? Like. I, I just got this studio, right? And then we got a bunch of lights uh, sent to us uh, from Cloud. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, sent us awesome things, right? And then I was doing that, and then it was uh, pointing them straight at me, and that was bad. So then I got a bunch of bounce cards and tripods, and, and then now it's not working the perfect way I want. So, I don't know. But, uh... I don't know. I think it's just, like, the fact that, like, right, unlike, you know, back, and I'm still so much happier now than back when I, like, was working at Real New, uh, or, you know, the place that I worked at. <laughs> um, but, um, uh, it, it's just kind of hard when I have, like, three different clients, right, and I'm communicating back and forth, and I'm, there's different deadlines, and, and it's just like, it's like all over the place, right? It's hard for me to, to exactly remember, you know? Um, okay, I was interested in Mega Crit, but we'll do bonus crystals here. Definitely gonna do bonus crystals. And uh, I don't know, I'm gonna keep doing heart. I'm gonna keep doing heart. I'm gonna keep doing hearts here. They fixed card getting. Uh, they are now guaranteed decks for cards you haven't opened. Yeah, I saw with the update. Yeah, that you can, you can convert your packs into collector packs or whatever. Yeah, they're, they, they've improved the crap out of that game. They really have. I love it. I mean, we've been playing it, making videos on it for a year now, so. Yeah, more money, more money OP. That that perk we just got is going to help a lot. Going to help a lot. You just, oh, watched Rollscape? Yeah, Rollscape, I'm surprised. I mean, the game's amazing. Definitely a new series on the channel. I haven't had a uh, game... I haven't had a, a game slash video series blow up um, as fast as Rollscape, so definitely makes sense. That game deserves it. Um, okay, armor. Uh, chaotic shot, that's fine. We'll go give away all of our health here. Um, okay. Okay, we got a banana. And then we can just lose all of our health. More max health from hearts? Cool. And then we got a banana, which gave us 536. Oh, I forgot I have Driller. Yeah, I should be destroying stuff as much as possible, probably, here. Um, okay. Okie dokie. We're already at 1,200 health here. This is, uh, this is pretty sick. This is pretty sick so far. Now, I don't know about looping, right? A lot of the times, we would kind of start to struggle when we... I actually care more about trying to get this rush. Um, ah, did I get it? I did. I did. Okay. Uh, heal after clearing each island. I'll take that for now because if we do heal up any, right, that will uh, give us money. Layered grenade, sure. Just kind of feeling like our grenade wanted to be better. Uh, I'll take more driller. Get some speed here. Oh yeah, because we also keep getting our cooldowns as well. I just don't know how about the grappling hook. I, I just I'm so I feel so weird about the grappling hook. I wish right the reason I wish it was an ability or something else that wasn't a grenade 
and I, I might be uh, different on this, but I wish I could like grapple up there, right? Like, oh, actually, I guess I could. Wait, I can. I don't know what I'm talking about. I wish. Okay, bam, and then we go like, oh, except obviously in a future update, that'll feel more satisfying. But I guess I still can. I don't know what I was talking about, but heal when increasing combo. Uh, I don't need that. And uh, you're gonna play New Risk of Rain update and DLC? Probably not. Um, I totally acknowledge Risk of Rain is one of like the best games ever. It's just, it never was one of those games that like really like got me obsessed, you know? I don't know why. I think it's an incredible game. I made a review on it back way, way back when. I wanna do melee cooldowns reduced, whatever. Um, but uh, it's not, it's not, uh, you know, not like m my, my, my obsession. There's so many other good content creators for that too. Boop. Yeah, we do a lot of damage. I don't know, maybe we just try to create the most damaging shotguns, right, that we've ever done. Do you know what makes Crab Champions better than Risk of Rain for you? Um, because I do know they're very similar. I mean, I think, like, obviously Crab Champions is, like, infinitely more approachable than Risk of Rain, right? Like, infinitely more. Um, it's so much easier to just, like, for a casual player to jump into this. This kind of game. Um, and, uh... To be honest, I think I think the the shooting, the gunplay in this game is is infinitely better than Risk of Rain 2. Right? Risk of Rain 2 is is a roguelike first and a shooter second, I think. Uh, and this game feels like it's a shooter first and a roguelike second. And that might be because um we're starting to get so many things from Driller. That might be because it wasn't going to be a roguelike at first, right? This game was going to be, like, a game that had parkour modes, and then it was going to have PvP modes, and then it was going to have a PvE mode, and it kind of got turned into a roguelike. Um, and so for me, raw gunplay, raw gameplay, um, Crab Champions takes the cake over Risk of Rain 2 any day. I mean, that's not even a competition. Um... And uh, as someone that's been playing shooting games literally since I was like a child, um, FPS games are in my blood, my bloodstream. Um, and uh, you know, and also just to be completely, to, to be completely honest, um, right? Part of the reason, um, you know, we don't we don't make Risk of Rain two videos is. The Risk of Rain 2 videos I made way back when, and this was when I was this way smaller channel, I was doing reviews. Like, those videos don't do well, right? Whereas Crab Champions is my most popular series <laughs> on the channel right now, you know? Um, and uh, obviously, if I didn't like this game, you, you can only play games that you're not in love with for so long, right? Um, and uh, there, there's been some series that people wanted to see more of that I didn't make more videos on, you know? Um, Rounds as an example. Uh, I mean, those views were starting to go down, but after 300 episodes, right? I could have kept making more rounds videos, but it's like, no, no, I don't, I don't really want to anymore, you know. And we, and so we stopped. So, um, but I do think Risk of Rain 2 right now is an infinitely better game than Crab Champions, just like, like some of its parts. But I mean, we're talking about an early access game versus a game that's been out for a very long time, you know. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Will there be more multiplayer content for Crab Champions in the future? Yeah, people seem to really enjoy it. I definitely want to I'll maybe do some of that more in the future. Um, I'm going to kind of commit to melee. I don't really know why, but we took the melee cooldowns. Might as well take melee range. And I don't think I have any more enhancements here. But I don't know. Ris Risk of Rain is really cool. I also just think, I think I saw someone in chat say, the vibes in Crab Champions are immaculate. Ru uh, Noise Storm's music. Okay, grenades do more damage. Ah, the, I forgot though that we're, <laughs> we're we're using the grappling hook. Um, the vibes in this game are uh, are immaculate, immaculate. Who doesn't want to play as a silly little crab, you know, with a double shotgun? <laughs>
Yeet. Okay, one down, one to go here. Elites are a little bit harder than I would like. And part of that is we didn't, we don't have any elemental. But if we can just keep up in our damage, we need to find some stuff that infinitely scales our damage. Man, and I need to stop taking grenade things. Every time I take grappling hook, I just am reminded. I don't know. It's just not my favorite. And I don't know if it's the game's problem or if it's my problem. But normally, I would, I mean, movement, schmovement, and a shooter. You guys know me. I have a freaking foot pedal that I'm dashing 99% of the time I'm playing this game, you know? Appreciate you sharing your uh, perspective. Oh, on, yeah, yeah, Risk of Rain, yeah. Really good game, though, but love this game, too. You're retooling your roguelike significantly now. I'm always thinking about games like Risk of Rain 2 and Crab Champions. Yeah, seems like being able to pivot during game development is a, uh, you know, really important uh, thing. Okay, shots do more damage. And uh, I'll just keep taking health, honestly. I mean, armor would be good, too, but... Okay... Love to see a funnel one person multiplayer video. Oh, where I have people join me, but they give me all their items. <laughs> that would be cool. That does kind of sound like such an asshole move. Like, hey, who wants to play with me? But you actually need to just give me literally everything you own. You know, your social security number. <laughs> but I see, I know what you mean. It just, I, I would feel like such a tool asking people to do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, okay, we'll gamble one time. Don't gamble, kids. Um, damage up on your combo. Big shot. I'll just say big shot. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah, if we could get collector, checklist, assassin, any of that, that would be really, really good. Okay, we'll do more crit here, though. Yeet. Yeet. It does feel extremely satisfying to like one shot these people. Oh! What going on? Oh, dude, the grappling hook, man. I'm getting myself in so much trouble with this grappling hook. Oh, I thought this was a horde. This is not, in fact, a horde. Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Double enemies with uh, armor is kind of rough. <sighs> Ooh, okay, see, I got I used grappling hook good that time. The problem is, is that doesn't do any damage. Dude, I I am getting myself in so much trouble with this grappling hook. Like, I wish I could just be tossing grenades into the crowd here. But instead, I gotta try to do quirky plays like that. Yeet! We did buff our melee a little bit. I just still don't feel super confident in it. I mean, I want, I want like, some quirky shit, dude. I want, like... Every time you use a melee, you have a 50% chance to like, I don't know, insert whatever, insert, I mean, like bubbles. Why is there not a melee bubble build, right? There should be, you have bubble grenades, you have bubble shots. I want, I want bubble melee, right? There, I, I just think, I think both, gr I think grenades need more boring perks. More just boring, common, effective, good perks. And I think melee needs more of those as well. Maybe just a couple. But then also some really cool, awesome stuff, you know? 17,000 crystals. I mean, that's a lot. We are kind of low here, though. I'm a little worried about that. Little worry about that. Critical blast. Critical chance. My crit chance is 7%. I, I think I'll still take that. And then mega crit. Okay, I'll take mega crit as well. 
But then from here on out, we need crit chance. Oh, what are these? Chance totems, okay. This is interesting, okay. Kinda struggling here a little bit. Oh man. I'm not planning on losing, but if we do lose, definitely getting off the grappling hook. How many more achievements do you have? Uh, I think we got like six or seven more achievements to our 100% achievements. I didn't, I didn't even, over the last like couple episodes, we ended up like accidentally getting two of the achievements, which is kind of funny. I'm sure at some point we'll try to do that. I mean, we technically still need to do Namo Nightmare or Ultra Chaos, you know, Nightmare or whatever. But I honestly have just been vibing with this game, doing fun builds. That's how you know a roguelike's good, right? When I, when I, you know, I'm trying to just do all the 100 percenting and then stop playing a game as fast as possible. That's one thing. But when I have things I could still be doing and I'm just goofing off having fun. Right, you know, you know that's, uh, that's great. Okay, we're gonna take some armor finally here so I just don't die. The armor's gonna be worth quite a lot here as well, so... Okay. Um... Big shot. This, these bullets are so weird. How do you get harder than True Nightmare? Uh, Ultra Cra- Ultra Chaos True Nightmare is how. Okay. Definitely want some economy chests. I don't know. Hmm. I feel like it's getting hard for us to actually shoot enemies. I don't know if it's all the quirky bullet types. But I want some homing, dude. That's like the number one legendary I think I would want. Oh, we're almost all out of armor too now. But if I could get homing shots with this, dude, we would ass blast. Ass Pounder 5000. Never stop pumping. I don't, I think I, I think I referenced, I think that was an incorrect reference. I don't think I said the quote correctly. But the people that know what I'm talking about know what I'm talking about. Um, okay. Enemies eliminated at close range drop more crystals. I mean, probably the thing is I gotta pay 16k for that. So honestly, I'll just take 20k crystals. And go luck. Yes. Yeah, my range is awful, but I, I, I mean, we're, we're double shotgun, so. Not really expecting a whole lot. Maybe I should have taken the thing where we would have got more money for killing people close to us, but I just didn't want to have to inventory management. Away, mister. Okay. Is Ruby higher than Diamond? No, Diamond's the highest. Gamble all the time, kids. <sighs> okay. Uh, driller. Okay, I'll driller. Skill chest here. Nice. We got the fuse totem. Well, that prevented me from spawn camping them outside of the, the cave. Dang, fire pumpkins respawned into more fire pumpkins. Fuck out of here. Oh my lord. Dude, we might die. Holy shit. Okay, if I can just survive this, we have a shop right after. Problem is, I just gotta get so damn close. I'm at 253. Not going well. Dude, Century, I need you to pick it up. Dude, 
Dude, I don't want to lose this run. And what the fuck? Was that crab flying? Dude, I am fighting for my life. Sensory gun. I haven't seen you do shit. I saw him do like 10 days. Okay, I'm about to... Oh, dude, those fire pumpkins screwed us. Okay, well, we'll do another run, obviously. Bubble Blast, okay. Get these grappling hooks off of me. I hate them. I'll take black hole, though. Because then I could, like, get people stuck in a black hole. That was, uh, that was pretty horrendous, to be honest. But, uh, I mean, you know, we, we were definitely expecting a challenge for sure. Um, because dual shotguns are really hard in my opinion. They they were one of the harder weapons for us to get diamond on. So, one of the few times we've not beaten loop one though. <laughs> Who gave that crab Terra Spark boots? <laughs> what is that from? <laughs> Yeet. I also, you know, if there's smaller enemies, I can, like, do the alternating. More damage airborne. Hurt ourselves a bunch for some money. Okay, and then... Uh, I guess every fifth shot does damage. We'll do, we'll do, we'll start doing crit earlier this time. I think... I don't know. A lot of times it's just... I think it's partly because crit builds sometimes feel very similar to each other. Like, sometimes I don't want to, like, commit to doing a whole crit build, but... If we're not going elemental, I mean, we need some kind of something. Yeah, it also, now that I have an actual combat grenade, I think we're going to do a lot better, too. I don't know, just not... Not a big fan of the grappling hook. The boots were from Terraria. Oh, gotcha. Man, yeah, Terraria is one of the first PC games I ever played as a kid. One of the first PC games. That and Binding of Isaac and then Team Fortress 2. Those were my... And I'm talking about Flash Isaac, too. Well, yeah, I think the first version even on Steam was Flash. Though I don't know. I don't know. I think it was, though. Someone else saying Binding of Isaac Oblivion. Yeah, I could never get into those RPGs as a kid. I'm getting into Fallout now, though. I mean, I've been talking about that last month. Or, you know, for the last, like, month and a half. Okay, I am getting low because I hurt myself tremendously earlier. Dude, that starfish fucked me up. Welcome, welcome, DEFCOM. Okay, uppercut. Just got it from the Rollscape videos. Haven't thought about Crab Champions in a while. I always thought the weapon balance wasn't that great. Uh, true. If, if you're talking about between different uh, weapons, you're probably right. But it the whole point of the game, if you're trying to do the progression, is to, you know, get, like for me, getting diamond on every single weapon. So just because the flamethrower is better than the assault rifle or the dual shotguns as an example. We've just been talking about how the dual shotguns are harder to uh, to deal with. Um, it's not a competitive game, so it actually doesn't matter if there's imbalance. It's it's to, in my opinion, it's okay that there's some weapons that are way better than others. I mean, I would like for the the worst weapons to maybe get buffed, but it doesn't actually matter because it's not a competitive game. And if anything, it's just, oh shit, yeah, I've, you know, like for the longest time, it was like, we have three weapons left to beat Diamond. And, you know, it was like, a, it was a fun challenge to actually use the harder weapons, you know? Um, but I mean, this definitely valid. I think for this type of game, it's fine. But um, because you don't find weapons in run, you start with the weapons. If the weapons were like drops in the game, then I think that would be worth it. Cause like Binding of Isaac, right? Back when there were a million shitty ass items. It feels bad to find a shitty ass item. It really does. Uh, fire rate increases to killing someone and more dashes. It, it, feel, it feels bad, but because you get to choose with the weapon, um, I, uh, I, think, I think it helps a lot. I really do. 
Um, weaker weapons are like playing on hard mode. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, but like I said, if if the weapons were um, you found in run, I think that'd be totally valid. Not not that you're not valid. I mean, it's an opinion, but. Weapon drops are in my game. Uh, you're trying to uh, trying to balance it is definitely hard. Yeah, to be honest, I haven't th like Crab Champions made me rethink how how roguelike progression replayability could work. Right? Because I don't know if he took inspiration. Ooh, okay, enemies finished with critical hits drop more crystals. I don't know if he took inspiration from Bloons Tower Defense, but it feels like he took inspiration from Bloons Tower Defense with the metals on each of the weapons. And honestly, to me. I, uh, um, I think that's very interesting. It, cause it's, it's, it's similar to an, it's a similar to there being different crabs with different characters, right? Like if this was a different roguelike, right? There would be, uh, 10 different crabs. Each crab would have their own starting weapon and their own starting perk. And then there would be like an ascension level you would cr climb. And in this, it turns it more into a... Bloom's Tower Defense. I do think all of the modifiers and the way the metals work might be a little bit confusing for newer players, but I think they're not there for newer players. They're there for more veteran players. So it's very interesting. Uh, the way Noise Storm is balanced this is, uh, and, and made replayability is, is really huge. Um... Okay, we'll take Rig Totems here. I did not think you were gonna go to Bloom's Tower Defense. Oh yeah, I mean that, I'm I, I don't know, I don't know. I might be wrong. I if I had to guess, I'm pretty sure Noise Storm was inspired by Bloom's for the metal system. I don't know, I, I don't know, but it just to me it feels like that, and I think that's an extremely good thing. Okay, I would like to level up these bubbles maybe. Um, yeah, let's just do that. Bubble Blast has sticky. That's huge. You, that's huge. You into any sports? Uh, not any physical sports, no. Honestly, I don't even watch esports that much. Dude, these lights. These lights. Why? Don't buy lights from Walmart, guys. Don't buy lights from Walmart. That's that's my take. I, I was, <laughs> when I was doing all this studio stuff way back when, I, uh, I bought some, each of those lights are $30. Very, very cheap for what they are. Uh, they, I don't know, they just, they just turn off randomly, and they don't work. To, and then yesterday, that caused me to, I was like troubleshooting with the lights for a little bit, and then I accidentally unplugged my router, because I'm a dumbass, and I'm not even gonna lie, I ended my stream yesterday, and I was, I, like, I then thought I had a doctor's appointment this morning at 10.30 in the morning, and I end my stream at, like, midnight, and I haven't even eaten dinner yet. I'm not, I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna lie, I, I I straight up was was I got really overwhelmed. I think I've just like I said, been running running a million miles an hour, but I was, I was a sad boy yesterday. Ooh, sharpened axe, chance to fire spinning axes along with your shots. Well fuck yeah! Got a legendary baby. I'll grab some armor here. Um okay. We'll do this here. We'll do this here. But yeah, not 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 into any sports as a kid. I mean, I played some sports. I played a ton of baseball as a kid, uh, like as a kid kid. Really liked baseball. Uh, I, I probably wasn't that great at it. Uh, and then I remember uh, back or when we first started getting into kids pitch, right? Because when you're a kid kid, right, you have like t-ball pitch where you're hitting on the t-ball or whatever the hell it's called. And then you have coach pitch where your coaches pitch you the ball. And then eventually, when you get old enough, you get to kids pitch. Well. The first season I, as a kid, got on kids pitch, I remember there was one team where the coach had all of the kids wear iron cleats, which I don't think are allowed, so they could slide and shred open other kids' legs. 
And then they, like, I'm like a fucking 12 year old. They had like a 16 or a 17 year old pitching for them and they would fucking hit us. I like, they would hit us. So we would all get scared and not play well. And I remember my dad, cause my dad was like one of the assistant coaches or something when I was a kid. And um, I remember him like not during one of my games, he brought me to just watch one of the games of the other, oh shit, I'm gonna die here. Um, one of the other uh, things, and I mean the coach is just screaming bloody murder at, at the other, uh, at, his, at his, his kids. Um, and yeah, I mean, it was just, it was fucked. So I was fucked. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna just start it again here. Continuing the story. Dagger blast. Boom. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, I, I kind of got traumatized a little bit there. And I, I developed a really bad habit in baseball where anytime they pitched me the ball, I would, I would like, here, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta show it. I would like take a step back and then hit it. Okay, there you go. Perfect, perfect professional uh, showing off. Uh, but like, I would, I would take a step back from the plate and take a hit, which obviously, if you know anything about like physics or baseball, that is not good. Um, and uh, yeah, I just, I don't know, because they had a fucking someone five, six years older than all of us. Um, that's a pretty good grenade thing already. Um, yeah, just freaking hitting us. Scaring us all. And uh, I think I played a little bit of basketball like one season. I was awful about that. But now I'm just a fucking nerd. I feel like efficiency or auto loader are way better than rig totems, especially with few totems there are now. Yeah, every time I get a bunch of rig totems, I don't feel like it ends up being worth it. If you can get like both of the totem upgrades, then absolutely. But. Movement speed increased, okay. Uh, paycheck, definitely. Definitely, definitely paycheck. Paycheck used to suck, but it scales with you now, so. Do some health. Dude, our grenades here are quite good now. Quite good. Welcome, welcome everyone popping in here. We're doing some, some shootiness. Playing some crab champions, probably some Robo Quest after that, and then uh, we'll chill off with some 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 Balatro probably at the very very end. It's hard to play too many shooters in one day for me, especially because uh, you know. But uh, I'll take armor right now, even though I don't really want to. I probably should have taken that damage. I went crit, but that other one was a rush. But to be honest, I don't even know if I could do that though. These grenades are pretty decent for that. You hurt your hands? Uh, no, I just, for the last, like, two, three years of my life, um, I kind of have, not carpal tunnel, I was tested for all of that, but I don't know, I just, I've been to physical therapy back when I <laughs> had a corporate job and could afford it, um, <clears throat> uh, consistently, um, but, uh, it's just, once I play, uh, ooh, critical hit, oh, critical hit damage increased by 250%, okay, I want economy, we'll do a parkour, um, just if I play a lot of games, especially FPS games, my hands and wrists are not happy. I also have like restless leg syndrome at night, which makes going to sleep really hard. But, um, you know, got to deal with the, I, I definitely need to be being more active. But yeah, especially on FPS days, especially with crazy FPS games like Crab Champions. Got to be a little bit, a uh, little bit protective of them. Totems not breaking is more useful for enhancements than actual totems. Yeah. Um, okay, okay, okay. Bubble shot. Or do we put a shotgun in a shotgun? No, I'll take assassin. Damage increased after, after every five shots. I'll take that here. Yeah, our grenades are, are going to help quite a lot here. Our grenades are incredibly good right now. Ho, 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 ho! Bring them in the blender! Dude, yeah. Anything is better than grappling hook, in my opinion. And I hate that I feel that way. I thought grappling hook was going to be, like, my best friend ever.
I don't know how many one shots kills we've been getting. I haven't paid attention. Dude, the black hole grenade cooldown is so fucking long, though. But if it sucks, I'm in the drill. That's pretty good. It's RoboQuest fun. I've heard about it, never seen any gameplay. Been told it's similar to Gunfire Reborn. It's insanely good. Uh, we have a series on it um, on our YouTube channel. It's it's really good. Uh, definitely comparable to Gunfire Reborn, but they're both very unique. Uh, fire rate increased. Fire rate increased. Okay. 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 I was disappointed by the grapple too. Yeah, I don't... I just... I don't know. Like, the hammer, I, I was able to give exact reasons why I don't like it. And it seems like those those reasons are... It's going to get better, but... Um, okay. We can make the dagger blast enhanceable. 1,400 each. Don't have a lot of money, though. I'm going to reroll one time, looking for maybe some economy. Okay, max health goes up when you buy things at the shop. I want more crit chance, but... Um... Damn. I'll just buy some armor. Whatever. How does assassin work? Because there's so many bullets. Uh, I don't even know the answer to that. I want to say that all the bullets count as one shot. Like, it's one shot. One shot equals multiple bullets. So it's like, just because you hit multiple bullets, that doesn't mean you don't get the one shot. Dude, these dual shotguns, man. There's definitely a reason we struggled with this. I guess it does feel nice to actually, like, struggle a little bit. But also, like, I don't know, dude. This is hard. Very, very hard. Oh, I missed it. Damn it. Missing a black hole grenade sucks because you got to wait like eight seconds for another chance. <sighs> okay. Yeah, if you guys like shooter roguelikes, yeah, Gunfire and Rebel Quest are both incredible. We got series on both of them. If you run out of Crab Champions content to consume. Oh, man. I want bonus crystals. But I also want Ring of Repulsion. That's like my favorite ring in the game, especially with dual shotguns. But I need money. I need money. I need money. Yeah, somehow all these builds have felt worse than that first one. I wish we hadn't died on that first one, but what can you do? What can you do besides tie your shoe? Okay. Tasty orange. Okay, okay. I'll take random here. What's over here? There's also a chest up there. Yeah, so I know I'm upping my damage because of Tasty Orange. I don't actually know if I'm getting any one-shots. Because, yeah, I don't, I don't one-shot an Ice Crab. Uh, that, wait, that didn't count as a one-shot either. Is it because I'm doing... Because I have two shotguns? So I guess if I fire both, that counts as two shots. Damn. Yeah, that's that's never going to trigger for us. That should have counted as a one shot. <laughs> okay, assassin damage increased by 1%. I saw it trigger at least once. I saw it happen at least once. Hey, gamers in the airport. Just here for my streak. <laughs> well, welcome. I know you can't hear me. Okay, reloading arc. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get that. Let's get that. Um. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. There we go. Every time I see a grappling hook in a game, I always compare it to TF2's grappling hook. Okay, I am a TF2 fiend. But I'm trying to remember a grappling hook in that game. Why do I not? I, like, I remember some grappling hooks in certain game modes like... Saxton Hale. Uh... You should, you should elaborate. I don't remember. I'm a fake TF2 fan. Apparently. Oh! Titanfall 2. I love Titanfall 2, so I can't be that mad. Titanfall 2 is incredible. If it was any other game, I'd get salty. But uh, TF2 is good. Both of them. No, t yeah, t Titanfall 2 is an incredible movement shooter. Dude, fuck EA. EA killed their own game before it came out, dude. They're fuck <sighs> EA. EA. Oh, Sturdy Totem. Okay. And I'll do Bigger Boom. Okay, cool. Yeah, Team Fortress... Uh, Titanfall 2 is super good. Okay. I'm trying to remember. We've done so many runs this time. Okay, I don't actually have anything to do with crit. I still will try to get crit, though, but I don't technically need to. Oh, there's a greed totem. Oh, shit! I didn't kill that guy in time. I took so much damage. It is cool though, Play playing as this dual shotguns is making me play completely different than a lot of other decks though. Oh my god! Dude, too many projectiles, I might die. Nope, fuck that grenade up. Oh my gosh. I almost died there. Oh. How's the crabbing and raven going? Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I have 61 HP. That's okay, though. Dude, everyone is rezzing, apparently. Or they might just be spawning and I don't know. It's the beginning of a run. Woo! Stop respawning! Speaking of which, I've been keep putting, t uh, keeping an eye on that X Defiant FPS game, the Ubisoft, like, COD game, and I'm not gonna lie, I used to be one of those people with, like, skill-based matchmaking, that whole argument, I was like, oh, well, just get good, you know, like, I don't know, like, the only people complaining about skill-based matchmaking are people that want to curb stomp newbies, but, like, the fact that X Defiant doesn't, have skill-based matchmaking is making me tempted to try to play the game for like, I don't know, very casually for an hour or two in my own time, because I don't know. Like, I am better than the average FPS player, I would probably say. So if you take skill-based matchmaking away, it would, it would go back to the old days of COD, where I could just get to curb stomp everybody, but... I don't know if that's a good thing. I don't know if that's how you keep new players. There's skill-based matchmaking in games for a reason. So, I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> I wish they didn't put Titanfall 2 or the release date they did. Oh yeah, I, I don't, uh, I've never played the story mode. I've heard it's really good though. Really, really good. Oh jeez, oh jeez. Man, I still have tw I we're still like about to die. <sighs> I don't want to end the
the video, but we've been playing for an hour. Okay, one more run. Bubble shot. One more run. One more run here. Because I, I don't know. I gotta... If, the, if I'm not gonna get a super good run, I gotta at least get you guys several attempts here. Man. Dude, dual shotgun is so hard. The dual shotgun is so hard. Okay, a little bit more max HP. Oh, I should have looked at how much, yeah, Assassin had boosted. You're right, you're right. Um, I keep getting the, the, the one where you get more damage when aiming. Can you give me the other one? Also, okay, flawless... Flawless uh, economy chest is very tempting here, or very promising, I should say. Gotta make sure I don't take damage. I want two economy chests. Yes, I do. Okay, this could be a good start here. Enemies drop more crystals depending on our combo. Crystal dividends. Okay. I mean, we got a really good economy going on here. Really good economy. Okay, I'll go crit. We also really don't want to take damage if we can help it. Oh, I'm actually kind of proud of that defense there. Because uh, we now have crystal combo. Right. With crystal dividends, shit adds up. We can get a, uh, you know, decent little nest egg for crystal dividends to start working with. So we're at a three combo right now. Hundred, a thousand percent recommend playing through story mode in Titanfall 2. Yeah. Yeah, I love that game a lot, the multiplayer. Crit chance. I think the idea of um, them adding creeps like little AI people to multiplayer is such a good idea, right? I mean, we were just talking about skill-based matchmaking, right? It kind of being there for, uh, you know, so so newer players don't like quit. You want to know another really good way to keep new, new players happy? Is if they're getting a million kills, right? It doesn't matter if those kills are bots or not. I mean, that's why all these freaking, you know, Fortnite, any mobile game you play pretty much, like, when you're a new player, you're 90% of the time playing against a bot in a lot of those games. At least until you get to a higher level, right? Because what person is going to keep on picking, like, what, you know, keep playing a game that they get curb stomped the second they get in the game, you know? So, that was a really good idea, too. Bouncing shot plus heavy shot works great for the shotgun. Create your own mace balls. Yeah, we had, um, like, split shot or something on our first, the most promising one. Um... I guess every fifth shot, I don't know. Do some more economy. Cause if I can just get a ton of money. Uh, then that means this first shop, we might be able to get even more. <laughs> this build is very good. Uh, or these shotguns are very good at destroying nests. There we go, and I'm still at my four times combo. We haven't uh, taken any damage yet. This whole run so far. Boop. Paycheck? Dude, we have so much money. Now we're about to do a uh, upgrade. If we can get another economy thing going. So I think there's an achievement for beating first area without taking damage. Oh, well, fuck me. Ha! <laughs> Second I start talking about it, you know how you know the rules. Reminds me of a uh, mullet mad jack, uh, for those of you guys that are big fans of crab champions and want to see some spicy new uh, kind of FPS shooter roguelikeness. Um, right, that game uh, you get a checkpoint every ten areas <clears throat> in the story mode. And so the closer you get to that checkpoint, the game gets even more stressful because you don't want to lose it all. Also, crystal dividends again. 
Dude, we have so much money. This is the run. This could be the run here. Um. Okay. There's all our health here. Holy shit. That, it let me use that so much. I'm already at 11,000. Okay, uh, bubbles here. Bubble shot us toxifying, freezing, and sticky. Max health up every uh, close range. Crystal dividends, heart. Century turret, because why not? Even though they fucking suck. Uh, scatter shot, dude. Oh my, man, I probably actually should have kept some of that for crystal dividends. But I mean, dude, I'm a baller now. Okay. Dude, those bubbles hopefully gonna help a lot now that they have the sticky or whatever. Nice! Okay, this is the this could be the run here. This could be the run. Uh double vision, absolutely. The piercing would be interesting, but we're so early on in a run, double vision. Right, building up our economy. Building up like our luck based things, right, with chest and loot. Hundred percent what we want. I actually have some uh, health scaling now, just a little, but just gaining some health if we kill people next to us here. We'll also hopefully have a ton of money so we could do health via if we get a couple of the uh, hearts are worth more and stuff. You need to beat a normal run without taking any damage. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, time shot. Sure. 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 It'll be in the intersection. Um, yeah, I mean, definitely probably gonna keep trying to do crit too. What if this game blows up? So, I mean, it's already a very popular game, but what if in like three years from now, right? The game keeps getting updated and there's like, Multiple classes you can play as the crab or you can play as the 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 you know the starfish Like that'd be so cool if there were different classes of the different things, but the game's called crab champions So you probably don't need that but uh, also crit arrow um, Probably not gonna upgrade it anymore beyond this until we get our crit chance up a bunch, but that's really good Really good Just joins how it's going. Ah uh, an hour of losses on the double shotguns, but I think we got a uh, I think we got a promising build here finally Due to us being rich. It's just like real life. I'm like a nepotism baby, but I'm a nepotism crab What's what's more than nepotism crab <laughs> The game rebrands to crustacean champions <laughs> You can play as a shrimp or a lobster. Mm, okay, rig totems. I'll just take a heart. I'll take a heart. Two crit if I can flawless this. <sighs> is there a PvP in this game? Uh, there is a small little PvP mini game. It is extremely bare bones. Uh, I thought it was a little bit bigger. I don't know for those of you guys that have been following the series if you guys remember the collab we did with Stumped. Uh, love those. Love everybody at Stumped. Um, they are some of the people I definitely want to do some more collabs with. Uh, but I know they're very busy people. Uh, but we, we were going to do PvP and then we found out you can only use the rocket launcher in PvP. And there's only one map too. So it's it's not the most fun to be honest. It's a fun five, 10 minute distraction like any of the other mini games, but. Okay, critical chance. Also, oh, we found a crit arrow. That's what that was. Crit chance, nice. We're already at 18% crit chance. Damage up depending on your combo. Okay. I don't want to lose too much of my health. I'm not, I'm not going to gamble away all my health here. This is one of my favorite crab related games, though there aren't that many of them. <laughs> Uh, I know there's that one, uh, like, Dark Souls light game that just came out. Like, Another Crab's Treasure or something like that. 
I don't, I don't, I'm not a big fan of uh, Souls Light games, so, you know, I, I, I didn't play it, but I've heard really good things about it. I was watching, I was seeing the development of that uh, game on Twitter, because uh, those devs made a roguelike before that called Going Home or something like that, Going Away. It was a really silly, fun roguelike that I think we did like one video on way back when, way back when, but. Stumped video was great. Yeah, yeah. Wasn't this game supposed to be a PvP game? Yeah, we were talking about that earlier. It was supposed to be... More damage spread is increased. Sure, that's fine. Um, yeah, it was supposed to be... Uh, like a ha part PvP, part parkour, part PvE. It was going to be like multiple games in one. And then... Uh, the scope changed to be like a roguelike first. And now we're getting some... some mini games and stuff like that, right? PvP, stuff like that, but, um, yeah. There needs to be more crab games. Oh, do you guys, do, okay. Are any of you guys, have any of you guys been watching the channel long enough where you guys watched us play crab game? Our little series we had on crab game back then, right? The, the squid game game called crab game. That was a while ago. I don't know if anyone... I'm sure we have people on YouTube that might remember that. Oh, JoJo watched that. I think I joined the channel right around that time. Uh, okay, max health increased after close range kills. Nice, two of those. Let's freaking go. So we got tons of money. Don't have anything enhanceable. Okay, more max health, and then I'll buy some armor. I'm not going to spend too much here because I want crystal dividends to uh, to pop to pop out, you know. PvP has a lot of potential if you add in a small drafting system, make arenas. Yeah, if they could make something like Upgun, or by they I always mean Noise Storm. If Noise Storm could do something like Upgun or, you know, uh, like rounds, like that would be crazy. But I honestly don't want him to focus on that right now. I, I think I think the plan is for him to make one of the best roguelike shooters that exists. Anything beyond that is is extra, you know. C crab game got hacked or something? Huh, that's interesting. Ooh, targeting shot. Love that. Like I said, homing on this type of stuff would be crazy good. Okay, we've made it back to the desert. Took us a while, but we're back. We back. Fuck you. Lost an entire armor because of that. Dude, I'm gaining so much health though. Every time I kill someone close to me, four max HP. Now, I mean, we're losing max HP a bunch, but. The crit arrow too. Just, uh, okay. Bullseye, max health after every one shot. Nah. Um. More damage, recoil is increased, that's fine. Oh my god, the recoil on that actually is insane. <laughs> More damage. Oh, I didn't even realize I had taken time shot earlier. I'll do more damage to nearby enemies. Okay, we gotta kill 40 enemies. Yeet! Oh, I think I hit the barrel on that. Mmm. I don't know if I'm gonna kill 40. Did I do it? I did not. But Rush Blessing gave me an extra one, though. Oh, no, no, I did. I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did, I did. I did, I did. Since when's there's a desert, I really need to get back into this game. Yeah, dude, Noise Storm's been cooking. That's for sure. Fire rate up. Uh, more damage while airborne, sure. And we can do some parkour. Dude, desert parkour. I need it. Oh, there is technically desert parkour. I don't know if I've done a desert parkour. I mean, this is just the... The... The, the first parkour. I can't wait till there's more parkour, too. This is some of my favorite shit, right? I'm always someone that, uh, dude, back in Team Fortress 2 days, 
and uh, CSGO days, I did a lot of surfing. And I would love more parkour. Anyone excited for Squid Game Season 2? I am. I'm very... Ooh! Grenade ex uh, explodes into ice damage areas. Oh. I don't know where... Where the fuck did my grenade go? Uh, Double vision again. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Fact that the bubbles are doing freezing too. So... <laughs> Of course, the one time we're actually going to do good, it's because we have elemental stuff now. <laughs> I mean, elemental is good. I don't know why sometimes I, like, don't want to do it. It's just, I don't, like, I don't want to do elemental, like, every single time, right? I, I do want to try to, like, mix up the types of builds, right? Not only for my funness, but for y'all, too. You guys don't want to see the exact same build every time. There we go. We're icing them out. I need more damage. Definitely need more damage. <sighs> it's not a shotgun unless it break breaks your wrists when you fire it. <laughs> Uh, okay. Um, okay, I'll take Driller here, especially in desert area. Driller is uh, super, super, super good. Super good. Uh, more crit here. What does every element do? Um, <clears throat> we, uh, uh, Ice has a chance to, like, you know, freeze enemies, like, like as you see. Uh, fire ticks down damage. Um, so they just take damage while they have fire on them. Same uh, thing with Arcane, but I think the way Arcane triggers is like fire, it's like the stacks slowly burn off of them and do damage. I think Arcane does something interesting, like it loses a fourth of the stacks every tick and does, so it does more damage faster, but it doesn't stay on them for as longer, I think. It's probably harder to stack as well. And then Poison makes enemies take more damage. So, Fire and, and Arcane are the only ones that are kind of similar. Uh, sure, more crit arrow. We'll take more economy here. Can't complain about more economy. I also don't think we're going to loop this. I think if we win, I'm going to take my win. <laughs> I know it's not like a true diamond win, but because we did so many attempts, I just want to see if we can get a W. I don't know. I might change my mind, but that is that is that is that is where my my mind is at right now. I just need more damage. Oh, and then there's lightning. Yeah. Yeah, lightning um, does like chain chain lightning. Yeah, I forgot about that. Somehow forgot about lightning. Who is still alive? Those crit arrows are helping so much. It's always interesting to see games that have both fire and poison statuses make them different. Yeah, it's just boring if everything does the exact same type of thing, you know? Arcane doesn't get washed out in water? Wait, things get washed out in water? That is the first time I've ever heard of that in my life. Like, legitimately, I, if that's true, I don't know. I, I, I didn't know that. Somehow don't have anything enhanceable. Paycheck. Crystal combo, armor. Damage combo, shock and damage nearby enemies every few seconds, sure. Because we're getting close to people. Okay, and I'll leave 15k for a uh, crystal dividends here. Greed. Y'all got y'all's greed video last time. Y'all got y'all's greed video. <laughs> Torchic, are you okay? Hey, uh, trip, triple, 
Thanks for following. See, greed chests are one thing. Greed totems are a whole other. I'm turning into one of those, uh, I've talked about this before, but one of those Binding of Isaac YouTubers back in the day that would never ever use pills. Because technically, statistically, they, they like, it wasn't worth it. This, I think, greed's actually really good. I just, I'm becoming one of those lame YouTubers that doesn't, doesn't want things they can't control. <laughs> You've watched that greed video three times now? What? <laughs> That's what you're talking about. That's crazy. Um, firework shot, melee, constant damage to nearby enemies. You know what? I think this is less about the shotgun build and more about the fact that I will kill anyone that gets close to me. Because now I'm doing more, I do more damage to people nearby. I'm also just doing passive damage to people nearby. I'm also doing damage and lightning to anyone nearby. I also have two shotguns. And I will dome anyone who gets near me. I wish greed totems upgrade greed items you already have. Yeah, that would be interesting. Um, there we go. Shots do more damage when hip firing. I was complaining I didn't have that earlier. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. There we go. Dude, I don't know. Because of the money, I might do a big episode. I might do a loop if that's if y'all want to see a loop. I might do a loop, honestly, expecting to die somewhere on that loop. We have so much money scaling. Love your videos. Funny, one of the reasons I bought the game. Hey! Glad to hear. Everybody's saying loop. Everybody's saying loop. Dun 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 dun. Oh, <laughs> I got the wrong song. No! Oh, no, I didn't. It's just later on. I'm telling you guys, I need, I need, a, I need a music pack. I need a music pack in this game. Uh, critical hit chance. Oh, right, I'll take more dashes. TTG is one of my favorite roguelike gamers. Hey, appreciate it. Obviously, we do more than uh, the more more than roguelikes. I'm trying really hard to not get pigeonholed into only making roguelike content. I think I think I learned my lesson nine years ago when I tried to turn myself into a YouTube channel or. Turn, uh, do an Overwatch YouTube channel. That's why even back when, <laughs> I remember when people would call me a rounds YouTuber. Like, yeah, I mean, I made 300 rounds episodes. But, uh, you know, I always made it very clear. Ain't a rounds YouTuber. I ain't anything YouTuber. I'm a, I'm just me. We tend to play games like roguelikes, FPSs, stuff like that, because those are my favorite. Horror games starting to grow more <laughs> on the channel, too. Oh, that was waves. I didn't even realize. Got an extra chest because of double vision, though. Uh, paycheck. 
Uh, critical arrow. You need a music pack or you made a music pack? No, I, <laughs> I have not made a music pack. <laughs> okay, we'll hurt myself a little bit. A little bit risky here, actually. But I'll do another wave, so if I take any damage, then it's over. Hey, time to grind. I remember when you made... You from the time you made your level head review. Holy shit. Okay, that's that's the first... <laughs> that's the oldest someone said they've uh, they remembered me from in a very long time. You were so small back then. Oh my gosh. Holy shit. That makes me happy. That makes me happy. That's freaking sick, Kanashi. That's crazy. That's so... Oh man, that, that makes... That uh, straight up, I've, I, man, because normally people will be like, oh, I, I, you know, I know you from the Sunday collabs or whatever. I think the only thing more impressive than that is if people come from before my review era, right? My, uh, I don't think I have anyone. I have not seen anyone that is, has been here since my, uh, my Overwatch days or my gaming discussion days after that. Or the one time I tried to turn my YouTube channel into a fucking Dota Underlords channel because I thought Valve would actually... Uh, I didn't learn my lesson from Overwatch and I also thought Valve would update their games that had 5,000 active players. Levelhead? It was just kind of like a Mario Maker. It, it was like an indie game that was very similar to Mario Maker and it was very good. Very good. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, we got the epic chest. Uh, I think I got it. Yeah, I don't. I didn't take any damage. You're you're great for horror games. So reactive. Yeah, I I enjoy. Uh, we'll do fire eight. I very much enjoy <clears throat> horror games. Got that whole spooky games playlist. Just you guys wait. If you guys haven't been around for an October on this channel, every single stream for the most part in October that we do, um, is like legally required to end with a horror game. So if you're a fan of the horror game content, oh, just wait. We'll probably bring back all the uh, the limited uh, TTG Halloween merch as well. <sighs> oh, geez. There we go. Dude, crystal dividends, man. We're already at two, almost 200k before a loop. Okay, we'll increase crit damage. And crit chance. We're at a 28% uh, crit chance. Some of the tracks in this game have a similar feel. Oh, oh, and the crabs uh, treasure game to this one. That's cool. Speaking of Valve, are you going to cover Deadlock? Uh, yeah, I might in three years when it comes out. And then I'll play it for two years before Valve abandons it like all their other modern games. Dude, I played this shit out of Artifact. I played this shit out of Dota Underlords. The last two games Valve put out... I tried to play, but Valve is so goddamn bad about supporting their own video games. It's actually insane. It makes me so upset. And I love Valve more than most other companies. One, because they don't have shareholders. So everything isn't about making exponentially more money. I mean, maybe it helps that they have Steam and Gambling Simulator, or sorry, CSGO. Um, I love that game too, but uh, fuck me, dude. It's like... It's so hard for me to, like, be hyped about a Valve game when they have this shittiest track record with supporting their goddamn video games. It's, it's, it's sad. It really is. It really is. A Dota custom game, a uh, Bami, a Dota custom game streamer tried to adapt Dota Underlords. Adopt Dota Underlords, but Valve said no. Of course. I think they had a community member. Okay, Piercing Wave is toxifying. So here we go, final boss. I think they had a community update. I don't know why they couldn't have done more community updates. Dude, that, like, Artifact, sure. That game died because they fucked up, whatever. Dota Underlords had 5,000 people playing it at any given moment. Like, I don't know, man. Okay, so we'll do a loop here for y'all. I have been here since today. You convinced me to get Rollscape. 
Well, welcome to the community. Okay, so we'll do we'll do a loop de loop. Two hour video incoming, unless we lose immediately. Lightning explosion, ice explosion, lightning strike, fireball shot, power slide. Okay, power slide. So this build is definitely just a get away from, or not a get away from me build. Just I'm killing everyone near me. <sighs> Why do you not get a better chest on waves if you get it flawless? Uh, well, there's perks that do that. Uh, there's also obviously like, sometimes you'll get the flawless thing where you get an extra chest. What is with CS2? Uh, what do you mean? Just like the general state of it? I think CS2 is a really good game, but they fumbled the bag pretty hard with the launch. There were supposed to be all these things that they promised. And uh, I'm excited. I Dreamhack Dallas is this month or th this weekend. I'm going to a gaming convention. I've talked about it a bunch, but uh, they have a giant Counter-Strike 2 tournament and I'm uh, very excited. It's crazy going in a stadium with like, I don't know, 5,000 other people. I'm watching a tournament. It's super cool. Dude, I know Dota 2 fans are eating good, though. Dota 2 fans are eating good. Uh, never in my life have I wanted to get back into Dota 2 more than the newest update. They made it where every character now has, like, a unique passive at the start that every, every character has. And then also every character has, like, one of two choices that you can take at the very beginning. It seems super fucking cool. I'll probably play, like... Three hours of Dota 2 with Daniel, and then both remember. Um, you know, remember the, the life lesson that we, we learned after a thousand in my case, or like 3,000 hours of gameplay in Dan's case, where I don't know. Don't play MOBAs, you'll be infinitely happier in your life. But sometimes, you know, it's fun to torture yourself, especially with Dota 2. If it hits big, I'm sure they'll support it like CS2 and Dota 2. <laughs> if it hits big. Okay, see, 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 I'm not a totally against greed. I'll, I'll go to a greed chest. I'll do a greed chest. I'll prove I'm not a pure greed hater. I, I think the money will carry this build. I think our economy is so good. And uh, we do have uh, HP scaling as well. Uh, I think we're getting five HP every time we kill someone next to us. We might have a chance. Might have a chance. Okay, glass cannon. Okay, max health increased, more enemies spawn, sure. What is the amount on that? 15% more enemies spawn, but max HP increased by 50%. Okay, I'm okay with that. And, uh, okay, here we go. Do I throw on a one hit? Let's see. Almost. Almost through. Cool. <sighs> the ultimate stay away build. <laughs> uh, okay, more crit arrow. Crit chance is 28. Crit chance. Okay, I'll do another greed chest. I'm not an entire greed hater. Oh, damn. I took a decent bit of damage there. I took a decent bit of damage. Chaotic grenade, sure. I just hate all of the grenade lower ones, though. Max health increased, more enemies spawn. Now 30% more enemies are spawning. We're not making this easy on ourselves. But that gives us more money. Not that I need it. I mean, we have crystal dividends. <laughs> Okay, 
Oh my gosh, okay, we're... We were at like 2,700 something HP. Do you think I need more like just raw damage or more ways to kill people near me? Oh jeez. Oh, we might die. Does that mean I'm gonna run and hide? Hell no. Okay, now we get a shop. All will be good. Targeting shot, absolutely. Is crab wave, uh, crab, crab wave? Is crab rave in this game? It is not. I think it's, it, I think it has something to do with the fact that technically, I, I don't know if this is true. It was like a, a different licensing company because it's made by Noise Storm. Uh, but I, I think technically someone else owns the rights to that. I'm not 100% sure though. Piercing wave. Okay, armor. We have so much money. Firework shot, more crit damage, crit combo. Silver heart. Sniper turret. More power slide. Sliding constantly does four damage and applies 10 fire stacks nearby enemy. Chaotic grenade. Silver heart. Giant drill. Personal space. Okay. Checklist waiting room. Yeah, <laughs> I know, right? But I don't know, sometimes loop loop one boss kicks our ass, so I don't know. We might die right here to be completely honest. I'm trying though. Okay, the armor's doing real good for us because we have 3,000 HP. Oh shit, we're on fire. That shreds armor. Got one of them. I don't know, man. I think we'll be fine. Oh. Okay. Cool. Made it to the next tier. Oh, I thought you said is Crab Rave in this game, not is this Crab Rave the game? Yeah. Yeah, so uh, Noise Storm made that. 25% uh, chance to block damage. We don't have any rings, so sure. Also, I'm very curious if targeting shot even really works, right? Where when we shoot an enemy, there's a chance that it shoots another enemy because we have limited range on this. So I don't know. Crab rave belongs to monster cat. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I knew, I knew that technically some other corporation owned that. Yeah. But honestly, who needs crab rave when you have all the other awesome music noise storm made and continues to make. It's like every update has a whole new freaking song or two. Like, it's insane. Yeah, I can't even imagine the amount of copyright claims uh, people like me would be getting if, uh, if Crab Rave was in this. That was like, um, I don't know if any of you guys remember when we did, uh, we checked out the early access launch of Hellskate. Like a, it's like a skateboarding roguelike monster slaying game. Really fun, but a little bit rough around the edges, but it was early access, right? First launch. That is a, it had amazing music. Um, okay, we just spent a lot of money for that perk slot. Um, double the amount of enemies when we're already raising the amount of enemies. Um, and they had, I guess, bought the rights to a bunch of um, like smaller uh, rock bands. Like it was like Swedish rock bands, or I can't remember exactly what country. Or uh, but I was like, oh, that's that's freaking cool. And then I, I released the video, and I get like seven or eight different copyright claims. And so I told the devs, and they were like, oh yeah, this is our first game. We didn't, I guess, we didn't know the difference between like. Purchasing the rights to use the game 
in your game, use the music in your game versus um, making it where you own the music so there's no one else doing copyright claims on the YouTubers' videos, you know? It's like when we played Hi-Fi Rush on the channel, uh, we had to play in the streamer mode where all of the... Um, all of the licensed music was replaced with like a custom soundtrack. Cause otherwise all those videos would have been copyright claims. Not that it would have mattered too much. Cause I mean, uh, it was definitely one of those series that we, I just played more for me and the couple people that, you know, wanted uh, to, to see it. But yeah. Um, what's with all these crab likes and banger music? More sniper turds. <laughs> See, it's because when you make a crab game, that means you're acknowledging that the vibes have to be immaculate. Because you can't make a game about crabs and have the game suck. Dude, also, there's so many enemies. <laughs> there's so many enemies spawning. I don't know. We might die. And to be honest, I'm not that concerned. I'm not throwing, but at least on purpose. <laughs> Yeah, we're far away from a shop, too. I didn't realize how far away we were from a shop. Dang. Guess we just got here, yeah. Ah! Oh, dude, I don't know. Might be end of the line here for us. Rule of thumb, if the soundtrack is original from the game and it's not Nintendo, you're probably okay. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, or, don't, 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 f dude, you can't even play Undertale anymore without copyright claims. Dude, the Undertale soundtrack is being like, I don't know, it's such a messy situation. I don't even, I can't really speak on it too much because I don't even know the, the logistics. But all I know is, can't really play any Undertale music either. I relate. I recorded a Roblox game and got 12 copyright claims. <laughs> I, I would imagine that would be because obviously Roblox game devs don't give a fuck and they're just putting in whatever music they want. <laughs> uh, I would assume. I mean, maybe they have the rights for it in the game, but yeah, I can definitely see a Roblox game dev not caring about that. Demolition's still really easy for us here. Um, okay, or grenade. Uh, dagger blast. Okay, we got two really good uh, things. Also, I don't know why I just took a super difficult one here. We have 277 HP. So every time they die, there's spike striking, so obviously we want to be careful about that. There's also barrels falling from the sky. Tasty orange definitely helps our damage as well a lot. Oh no, no, no I shouldn't I shouldn't be meleeing people. Oh lord. No, it's over, dude. It's over. Oh my god. Oh my god. Ooh. Oh shit, fuck you, grub. Oh my god! Dude, I don't know. Can I see how much the turrets are doing, or can you still not? Ah! I wish you could see the total damage on the snipers, but whatever. Uh, okay, crit arrow. Bubble shot. Oh god, spike chest or shrapnel homing barrels? Sh shrapnel homing barrels it is. There's no way we live past this. I'm trying though. Oh jeez. Oh god, dude. Oh god. <laughs> I got sniped. <laughs> Oh man, that was fun though. That was fun. At least we made it into a loop, right? I'm, I didn't. I didn't want to. I didn't want to make a video without a loop. 
Uh, at least. So at least we did that. I mean, we've remembered how hard the dual shotguns are. Uh, and I mean, we did make a, a more unique build, right? About just killing anyone that comes even close to us. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, they're pretty fun. Pretty fun for sure. Definitely, like I said, reminder of how hard certain weapons are compared to others and stuff. But, uh, either way, if you're watching after the fact on YouTube, you know, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you guys subscribe, ring that bell, like all the big boy YouTubers say, to be notified of when more Crab Champions videos come out. If there are some, they'll be on the screen right next to me. And if you guys are going to be grinding out some Crab Champions on your own, then I wish you guys luck and see you all next time.